Right, we turned up to this one. It comes up with a fault code E119. Looking at the front, E119 is low system pressure. So the first thing that we're going to check is to make sure that we've got pressure. It's on one and a half. Yep. Just under one and a half, so we know that's fine. Next thing we got to do is whip the case off. Right, so because we know that it's got pressure, the first thing we need to do is basically bridge out the pressure sensor. So this is the pressure sensor. If that's faulty, we can see if it's electrical or mechanical. If we bridge these out, we're gonna create a connection inside the boiler. It will trick the boiler into thinking that the sensor's okay. We've connected that up. The error code's disappeared. Turn that up, the boiler's gonna try and fire. Put it into service mode. Boiler fires. We know we've got a faulty sensor. Green light means go. Happy days.